Здравствуйте, дорогие друзья. Меня зовут Татьяна. Сегодня я нахожусь рядом со своей подругой и просто очень интересным, хорошим человеком Ашвини. Она побывала во многих странах мира, жила во многих странах мира. И сегодня я хочу задать ей несколько вопросов, ответы на которые будут вам тоже интересны. Hi, Ashwini, how are you? Hi, I'm good, thank you. How are you? Thanks, I'm fine. Uh, could you introduce yourself shortly? So, my name is Ashwini. I'm 27 years old. I'm from India, but I live in Europe now. That's it. Mm. I know you've been living in uh, a lot of countries for a long time. So, could you please uh, tell in uh, how many countries have you been and uh, in which one? I did not count how many countries I've been, but I've lived in about five to six countries for a long for a long time. For a long time, yeah. It's a great experience. Uh, could you tell which one, in which countries have you been more than uh, half of the year? <laughs> more than half of the year. Okay, I've been in France, in Italy, and in Poland. Of course, India for more than half of the year. So, what was your experience? So, which countries maybe you liked more? Lifestyle, I mean, uh, people, where you felt comfortable, where not very comfortable? It's okay, it's a big question, but maybe. <laughs> okay, uh, I think all the countries are very different. Each country, they have their uniqueness. But for me personally, to the countries who I, where I've been, of course, I love India. And many regions of India, they are very different, but I love... I had different experiences, unique experience in all the regions and France, I like it because of the respect mm -hmm. they have for each other, for the nature, for the solidarity. I like Italy for the sun, food and the way of life. I like Poland because I had extreme stereotypes about Poland, mm -hmm. but it broke completely when I was there. I was really in love with Poland. Mm -hmm. And yeah, that's it. Oh, thank you. Um, in which countries do you think is the uh, best conditions for migrants? Maybe? For migrants, I would say France is the, I wouldn't say best, the term, but I think this is the perfect choice for immigrants to live because You have many immigrants, first of all, so that you don't feel alone, mm -hmm. you don't stand out. Mm -hmm. For example, I am in Moscow, but I was counting the people who I see in my color, mm -hmm. but I hardly met 10 people of my color in five days in Moscow. Mm -hmm. So you don't feel left out, first of all, and in uh, France has a very good support for immigrants. Mm -hmm. In the conditions of finding an apartment, supporting your family, giving you funds if you don't find a job, language support for free. I think France is one of the best countries for immigrants. Uh, is it was easy for you to find a job in France? Well, I found many jobs, but it was easy. Uh, it was not easy to find a job which I like. I think I'm still uh, not... I wouldn't say I found what I like, but it's really hard to find something which I like. So. Uh, what about uh, um, safety in Paris? Because a lot of stories how it uh, some day Paris became dangerous, a lot of uh, situations, stealings, and so on. I I've been in so many pretty small villages in France, but just in Paris, I don't feel safe. I always carry my handbag like this. <laughs> in metro and I have seen so many um, thefts happening right in front mm -hmm. of me in metros. Mm -hmm. Loss of mobile phone, wallet, mm -hmm. anything you have in your pocket. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's sad because it's, it was not how Paris was when my great-grandfather told me yeah, the story. Romant romantic city. <laughs> exactly, but it's sad but still mm -hmm. it's the truth, it's the reality. So guys be careful but still you have to visit Paris, it's very beautiful. <laughs> Uh, and uh, we have a lot of clients who is going to Poland for work, for a work. Um, is it a lot of people who speak English in Poland? Uh, is it uh, the society open for migrants or maybe less than in France? Okay, uh, I have traveled to many countries in Europe, but 
the non-English speaking countries where they speak very good English is Poland. Mm -hmm. Anybody in the street you ask for something they speak English. Mm -hmm. So it's a good option if they speak English and if they want to move to Poland for work it's a very good option. There are a lot of stereotypes about Poland, about religion, politics and the drinking. lifestyle, <laughs> drinking, racism, but I think you will love the country when you are there. Oh, okay. And uh, I think uh, uh, there are also interesting questions for our viewers. So you were for the first time in Moscow, in Russia. What were your expectations about this uh, city? Is it uh, like... Well, first of all, uh, as I travel a lot, mm -hmm. I don't try to have expectation because when I have expectation, it disappoints me. Mm -hmm. So I try to not to have expectation when I left India. But uh, surprisingly, Moscow is clean, very clean. People are friendly. Just that you, I am a different skin colored person. So they look at me like this, <laughs> but it's okay. I think they're just curious nothing bad but it's beautiful it's clean it's lively and it's lovely so I like Moscow oh. and I prefer Moscow metros than Paris metro <laughs> thank you Ashwini so you are very interesting thank you a lot thank I you hope so you much. will have a great last evening in Moscow and I hope to see you soon as soon as possible so thank you very much спасибо друзья Спасибо. Надеюсь, вам было интересно. Мы будем продолжать делать подобное интервью. Всем спасибо, пока. Bye. Bye. Стоп видео. GoPro, стоп видео.